The cough reflex has both sensory mainly via the vagus nerve and motor components. Pulmonary irritant receptors in the epithelium of the respiratory tract are sensitive to both mechanical and chemical stimuli. The bronchi and trachea are so sensitive to light touch that slight amounts of foreign matter or other causes of irritation initiate the cough. Reflex the larynx and carina are especially sensitive, and the terminal bronchioles and even the alveoli are sensitive to chemical stimuli such as sulfur dioxide gas or chlorine gas. The rapidly moving air usually carries with it any foreign matter that is present in the bronchi or trachea. Stimulation of the cough receptors by dust or other foreign particles produces a cough which is necessary to remove the foreign material from the respiratory tract before it reaches the lungs. Physiology The cough receptors, or rapidly adapting irritant receptors, are located mainly on the posterior wall of the trachea, pharynx, and at the carina of trachea, the point where the trachea branches into the main bronchi. The receptors are less abundant in the distal airways, and absent beyond the respiratory bronchioles. When triggered, impulses travel via the recurrent laryngeal nerve, a branch of the superior laryngeal nerve which stems from the vagus nerve, to the medulla of the brain. This is the afferent neural pathway. Unlike other areas responsible for involuntary actions like swallowing, there is no clearly identifiable area that can be labeled as the cough center in the brain. The efferent neural pathway then follows with relevant signals transmitted back from the cerebral cortex and medulla via the vagus and superior laryngeal nerves to the glottis, external intercostals, diaphragm, and other major inspiratory and expiratory muscles. The mechanism of a cough is as follows. Diaphragm and external intercostal muscles contract, creating a negative pressure around the lung. Air rushes into the lungs in order to equalize the pressure. The glottis closes and the vocal cords contract to shut the larynx. The abdominal muscles contract to accentuate the action of the relaxing diaphragm. Simultaneously, the other expiratory muscles contract. These actions increase the pressure of air within the lungs. The vocal cords relax and the glottis opens, releasing air at over 100 miles per hour. The bronchi and non-cartilaginous portions of the trachea collapse to form slits through which the air is forced, which clears out any irritants attached to the respiratory lining. Stimulation of the auricular branch of the vagus nerve supplying the ear may also elicit a cough. This is known as Arnold's reflex. Respiratory muscle weakness, tracheostomy, or vocal cord pathology may prevent effective clearing of the airways. Dysfunction. The reflex is impaired in the person whose abdominals and respiratory muscles are weak. This problem can be caused by disease condition that lead to muscle weakness or paralysis by prolonged inactivity, or as outcome of surgery involving these muscles. Bed rest interferes with the expansion of the chest and limits the amount of air that can be taken into the lungs in preparation for coughing, making the cough weak and ineffective. This nerve is most commonly damaged by swallowing a foreign object, such as a chicken bone, resulting in it being lodged in the piriform recess or by surgical removal of said object. Testing. The cough reflex can be tested by inhaling air with nebulized 200 micromole L-capsaicin.